Ever since I started to wear my Apple Watch Series 3, I've noticed so many benefits it's brought to my daily routine. It's made my life much more simpler, more productive, and made my habits actually stick. One of the many ways my Apple Watch Series 3 has benefited my life is making the habit of working out at home stick. Now, working out at home is an honest struggle for me because prior to the pandemic, I would always go to the gym at least two to three times a week, work out on machines, work out with the cardio machines, and the people at the gym really just motivated me to push myself to go even harder but with my house I don't have an at-home gym and I had to resort to hit workouts on my laptop or the few weights I have with the Apple watch it's been really helping me motivate myself to work out at least two to three times a week because there are so many workouts on here where you can pick to accurately track your workouts with this data it really helps me stay motivated and interested in working out at home because I like to know how long I worked out for and how many calories so this way it kind of pushes me to maybe do a few more minutes or a few more calories calories every time I'm working out. It's also really convenient because if you're playing music, you can just swipe to the right and either go to the next song or go to the previous song, making your workout experience a lot more convenient. Crazy enough, I've been waking up at 5.30 a.m. and after I brush my teeth, I slap on my Apple Watch, put on my workout clothes I laid out the night before and go straight to working out. I do not drink coffee or even eat breakfast because I do not want to give myself the time to back out. That is how much I despise working out at home. The Apple Watch has been a game changer for me when when it comes to productivity because I don't always have to have my phone with me at all times and I've noticed insane benefits to this. Because the Apple Watch is an extension of my phone, it has the basics and essentials that my phone has. For example, I can receive and reply to calls or texts, I can check the weather, I can ask Siri if I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and so much more. Because of this, it really helped me stay focused whether it was scripting my next YouTube video, editing, or finishing the courses I've been working on. And what I do is I will put my phone out of sight, whether it's behind me on a bookshelf or just across the room that way I don't get tempted to look at it and grab for it because before I would always have my phone with me in case anyone has to text me or anyone needs to get a hold of me and then when I receive texts or notifications I go on my phone and replying to texts or calls will take a few minutes but I find myself going on social media for like 20 minutes then I lose my workflow and have to try to get back into it plus seeing my phone right on my desk it makes me so tempted to go reach for it and just mindlessly scroll on social media so it really impaired my productivity because I don't have to bring my phone with me at all times I finally was able to make my habit of reading in the morning for at least 20 to 30 minutes stick now prior to this I would always have to bring my phone with me so I can see what time it was and get ready for work because it was in my peripheral vision I would lose focus after 5 to 10 minutes of reading grab my phone and scroll in social media mindlessly which resulted to me forgetting about reading altogether now with my Apple watch I don't even bring my phone with me anymore I just leave it in my room and just take my Kindle paper white I have been reading at least 20 to 30 minutes almost every other day if not every day for 12 weeks straight which is a record for me because I have never gone longer than like one week of reading because I am starting my day off with working out and reading it really sets a good foundation for my day to be a lot more productive <music> the absolute most on my Apple Watch is my timer. So when I need to get stuff done, whether it's editing, scripting my next video, or the courses I need to finish, I put a timer on for about 30 to 40 minutes and that is when I need to stay focused. After the ringer goes off, I set a break time for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way I can go on my phone, go get a snack or do whatever. And then again, when the timer goes off, I go back to work. And I know this is really simple because why can't I just use my phone since it's already out of my sight or use my laptop as a timer? Thing is, I tried, but it failed because sometimes I like to check how much time I have left and when I go on my phone or go on a different tab, I instantly lose focus. Then I go on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok and it really defeats the purpose of using a timer to help me stay focused. However, with the Apple Watch, I quickly check it and then go back to what I'm doing without losing focus at all. And this has insanely upgraded my productivity game. So there's something I forgot to mention on the Apple Watch that helps me to be insanely productive. I use the Breathe app. As cheesy as it sounds, I actually use the Breathe app just to calm my mind and clear it. So if you guys don't know, I work as a part-time receptionist and optometry assistant at a dental and eye care office and sometimes it can get extremely busy to the point where like I want to rip up my hair and walk out like today. So I'm home at like 4.20 and I have a whole day of editing to do. 
but yeah I'm just gonna do my breathe up and what I do is I just set it up and it will vibrate when you like breathe in so that way when I get into work I don't have all that anger bent up in me so overall thank you to my boyfriend for gifting me this watch because it has honestly improved my life making it much more simpler more productive and finally making my habits actually stick now in a couple weeks I will be doing a full review on it because I don't know if I would spend a couple hundred dollars on an Apple watch since I'm definitely on a budget I don't have that extra money to spend on a watch that isn't that cheap either and definitely subscribe to watch out for that video because if you're on a budget and wondering if it's worth buying with your own money I think this video will definitely help you out even if you have the money to spend on it and you want to get the series 3 or maybe the 4 the SE the 6 which is the best fit for you that video will definitely help you out so again subscribe so you can check out that video and also stop that like button for me I would definitely appreciate it however that is it for me I'll see you in the next one peace